Engineers just built an entire bridge by sliding it through the air like a massive drawer. In another part of the world, buildings are rising from the ground using nothing but inflated fabric and concrete. And somewhere else, scientists created walls that literally glow in the dark without electricity. These aren't concepts from science fiction movies or distant future predictions. These are construction techniques being used right now, today, reshaping how we build everything from homes to skyscrapers to offshore wind farms. And the most fascinating part? Many of these innovations are so counterintuitive, so seemingly impossible, that even experienced engineers do a double take when they see them in action for the first time. From materials that heal their own cracks using bacteria to houses that float during floods and settle back down afterward, construction technology has entered an era that would have seemed like pure fantasy just 20 years ago. So let's dive into the most mind-bending construction innovations happening around the world right now, starting with a technique so elegant it almost seems like cheating. Italy developed something called the inflatable concrete technique, created by engineer Dante Bini, and it completely reimagines how we can create structures. The concept sounds absurd at first. You're going to build a permanent building using air? But here's exactly how it works, and once you understand the process, the genius becomes obvious. Workers begin by laying out a large inflatable canvas, shaped like a dome or whatever architectural design they're targeting. They fill this canvas with air, which forms the basic outline and shape of the structure. It's essentially a giant balloon in the exact form of the building you want to create. Next, steel reinforcement bars are carefully arranged over the inflated dome, creating a sturdy three-dimensional grid that will provide structural strength. Once the steel framework is in place, concrete is poured and sprayed over the entire surface, covering the inflated form completely. The concrete bonds to itself and the steel reinforcement, creating a solid shell. After the concrete hardens and reaches full strength, the air-filled layer inside is simply deflated and removed, leaving behind a completely freestanding structure that's remarkably strong and durable. The best part of this technique? The inflatable mold can be reused multiple times for additional structures. This makes it extraordinarily fast, efficient, and cost-effective for building shelters, particularly for emergency housing, disaster relief, or temporary facilities that need to be deployed quickly. You can create substantial buildings in a fraction of the time traditional construction would require. But Italy wasn't satisfied with just one revolutionary technique. They developed another method that's equally stunning called bridge launching, designed by engineer Marco Rosanoli. This now ranks as one of the most impressive ways to construct a bridge, and watching it happen is genuinely mesmerizing. Here's the process. Bridge sections are pre-built with exact precision in a factory setting where conditions are controlled and quality can be carefully monitored. Once these sections are transported to the construction site, they're not assembled over the river or valley they'll eventually span. Instead, they're assembled on nearby solid ground in a safe, accessible location. Then comes the genuinely fascinating part. The entire assembled bridge is carefully pushed or launched into its final position. It's an incredible display of precision engineering that demonstrates how creativity in construction truly knows no borders. But how exactly do you slide a massive bridge weighing thousands of tons through the air without it collapsing? That's where the launching nose comes in. This long metal framework made of girders attaches to the front of the bridge span. Its job is to guide and support the bridge structure as it slides forward into position. Giant hydraulic machines, each weighing several tons, lift the entire bridge structure off the ground. Once raised to the proper height, the bridge is placed on special bearings coated with low friction materials. This setup allows the bridge to glide forward smoothly without bending, buckling, or breaking under its own enormous weight. Using hydraulic jacks and precision-controlled equipment, engineers slowly push the bridge forward, literally inch by inch, until it slides perfectly into its final position spanning the gap. Watching such a massive structure move gracefully through the air is nothing short of mesmerizing, like seeing a building-sized object suddenly become weightless and fluid. Once the bridge is fully aligned with its supports, the temporary launching framework is carefully removed and the structure is locked down securely. Installation complete. 
For smaller bridges, this entire process can happen in a single continuous operation. But for larger spans, engineers take an incremental approach, pushing one section forward while simultaneously adding new segments at the back, repeating this cycle until the entire bridge is complete. It's an incredibly delicate process where every single move must be perfectly timed and measured with extreme precision. One miscalculation or slight misalignment could compromise the entire structure's integrity. But when executed correctly, this method saves an enormous amount of construction time. What would normally require weeks or even months can now be accomplished in just a few days. Moving from Italy to the United States, American engineers developed something that seems to violate the laws of physics. It's called aerogel, often referred to as frozen smoke because of its incredibly light and translucent appearance. But don't let that delicate appearance fool you. This material is one of the most effective insulators known to science. How effective are we talking? You can hold a thin sheet of aerogel directly over an open flame, and it won't even melt a piece of chocolate resting on top of it. That's how incredibly efficient it is at blocking heat transfer. NASA uses aerogel extensively to protect spacecraft and astronauts from the extreme temperature variations of space. And now this once space-exclusive material is finding its way into everyday residential and commercial buildings. In modern construction, aerogel panels are being used to insulate homes, keeping interiors warm during winter, cool during summer, and remarkably quiet throughout the year. It's so lightweight you can barely feel it in your hand, yet its thermal performance is absolutely unmatched by traditional insulation materials. It also functions as an excellent noise-canceling layer, dramatically reducing sound pollution and creating more peaceful indoor environments. Because aerogel is so extraordinarily efficient at insulation, you only need a very thin layer to achieve the same insulation value that would normally require several inches of conventional materials. That means significantly more usable interior space in buildings, thinner walls, bigger rooms, and overall smarter architectural design. It's compact, powerful, and incredibly effective, the kind of innovation that fundamentally changes what's possible in construction and energy efficiency. Another American innovation completely transformed how tall structures are built. Developed by architect James McDonald, slip form construction changes the entire game for vertical building. The process starts with formwork, essentially a mold that defines the shape of the structure. Once that's properly set up, concrete is poured continuously while the formwork itself slowly climbs upward like a mechanical caterpillar. As the concrete hardens, it creates a stable base that supports the next layer being poured above it. The formwork keeps steadily climbing higher, essentially building its own tower as it ascends. It's remarkably fast. Sometimes a building can rise several complete stories in just hours or a few days rather than weeks. However, this method has limitations. Because the mold moves continuously without stopping, it can't be easily modified mid-construction. That means slip forming works best for structures with repetitive uniform layouts like grain silos, water towers, and industrial chimneys. To work around that limitation, engineers developed a related technique called climbing form work. Instead of pouring concrete non-stop, builders complete one entire level at a time. Once a section fully hardens, the formwork mechanically moves up to the next floor and the process repeats. This approach offers significantly more flexibility, allowing for more complex and varied floor plans, greater precision, and better quality control during construction. It may be slightly slower than pure slip forming, but it's still one of the most efficient ways to create skyscrapers quickly, cleanly, and with minimal noise or construction waste. Germany introduced light-emitting concrete, one of the most beautiful and practical construction technologies emerging today. Developed by researchers in Germany and Hungary, this innovative material contains phosphorescent properties, meaning it can absorb light energy during daylight hours and release it gradually at night as a gentle glow. The result is a natural illumination that lights surroundings without requiring any electricity whatsoever. Imagine roads and pathways that light themselves after dark, making nighttime travel safer while simultaneously saving massive amounts of energy. That's exactly what engineers hope to achieve with this technology at scale. 
Germany is also experimenting with algae facades through the groundbreaking solar leaf system, the world's first fully functional bioreactor facade. Small colonies of algae are placed between glass panels filled with water and carbon dioxide. With sunlight exposure, the algae grow rapidly through photosynthesis, and that's where the innovation becomes truly remarkable. The bio-intelligent quotient house in Hamburg, Germany, showcases this technology. The 200-square-meter facade system contains transparent glass panels acting as flat-panel photobioreactors where microalgae absorb sunlight and carbon dioxide, generating both biomass and heat energy as natural byproducts. The microalgae's simple unicellular structure allows them to produce biomass up to 10 times faster than traditional plants because every single cell participates in photosynthesis. Switzerland contributed 3D knitted formwork developed by ETH Zurich. An industrial knitting machine produces a double-layered textile perfectly tailored to the structure's dimensions. The flexible fabric is stretched into shape using ropes and a boundary frame, then a thin layer of concrete is sprayed onto the outer surface. The result creates beautiful organic shapes that look sculpted by nature itself, while remaining impressively strong. The Netherlands developed self-healing concrete that repairs its own cracks using bacteria mixed directly into the material. When cracks appear and water seeps in, the bacteria activate and produce calcium carbonate, naturally filling the crack completely over time. This revolutionary process could transform infrastructure maintenance especially for bridges, tunnels, and remote structures that are difficult to access for repairs. And finally, 3D concrete printing is redefining what it means to build a house. Massive printer machines lay down specially formulated quick-drying concrete layer by layer, following digital blueprints with perfect precision. Structures that would normally take weeks can now rise within days or even hours, completely automated with no human intervention required beyond programming. That's it for today, folks. See you in the next video.